Hello, friends. Today, let's solve frog jump. Uh, the question is that uh, we have some stones, and uh, the value represents the position, and these stones are in ascending order. Uh, how to understand these stones? Well, it's like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, till the 7, but there are some uh, positions don't have any uh, stones, so we cannot land there. Uh, it asks us whether we can jump to the very last stone. And it also says that the first, the first jump is 1. Well, so that uh, if the first jump is 1, so the next jump will, the range will be uh, 0, 1, 2. Then we jump 2. Because if we jump 1, then there is no stone in position 2, so we cannot uh, jump uh, there. Then we uh, jump two, we uh, get uh, three. It, as last jump is two, so the next jump can be uh, one, two, three. Then we can jump two or three to different stones, so on and so forth. Uh, here, you can see we jump two, so next jump can be one, two, three. We jump three, we get the, uh, eight. Uh, if last jump we jump three here, then we get six. So next jump can be two, three, or four. Then we jump two, we get eight. So it uh, actually tells us that uh, it uh, may not necessarily be the preceding stones. Uh, uh, that means it uh, is not necessary to jump from its preceding stone to land uh, the current stone. We can jump from 5 to 8, sk uh, skip this stone 6. So this you should uh, notice. And uh, we jump 4 and then we jump 5, so we get the last uh, position. Uh, in this whole progress, you will notice that the stone index i is important. Because if we reach the end, we just return true. If we did not re reach the end, we must know, oh, yeah, or oh, where are we now? Uh, the other important uh, factor is that we should know uh, what is the last jump. Because if we know last jump k, we know the next jump will be uh, either, uh, sorry, will be k minus 1, k, or k plus 1. So we can see next stone. So uh, based on these two important uh, things, we can define a DP array, uh, NK. It represents whether we can land on the A stone with the jump K. So if we, we want to get the information, then we must know the previous uh, stone and uh, the last jump. If we know the current jump is k, what is the last jump? Last jump can be uh, k plus 1, k minus 1, and k. Uh, because last jump plus 1 equal to current jump uh, k, and last jump minus 1 equal to current jump, and last jump equal to current jump, so last jump can be uh, current jump minus 1 plus 1 and k. Okay. So our duty now is just to fill this uh, DP array. Let's see example. Uh, stones 1 equal to 1. And we get the k stones 1 minus stones 0 because this is the very first uh, stone. So the k is 1. Uh, DP 1 1, uh, what does that mean? This 1 means the first uh, stone. This k is the jump 1. Uh, it, its value is dependent uh, dependent on these three values. As long as one any of these three values is true, then it is true. So what does that mean? Um, because the previous stone is zero, so dp is zero, dp is zero. And uh, this is just uh, the last jump. The jump, as I said before, it will be um, k minus one, k plus one, k. And the k is one, so we get these three values. It actually means uh, any stone is uh, reachable by this jump. We can then jump k 
uh, go to the current uh, storm one. Okay, if you understand it, then let's say stones two is equal to two. Uh, okay, it's not equal to two, just some example. Uh, then we'll see k equal to stones two minus stones one. But as we see the example before, it does not necessarily be the preceding stone. It can be stones zero. So we actually should iterate all its preceding, uh, sorry, previous uh, stones. And every time we get this k, and we just update this dp uh, two and the k to dp one and the k minus one, k plus one and k. Okay. Mm. So the I think the logic is simple, but something you should notice. Uh, this is the storm index. This is storm zero, storm index one, storm index two, storm index three, storm index four. If uh, every time we jump the largest uh, possible jump, the first jump is one, then uh, the next jump can be zero, one, two. The largest jump is two, so we just uh, jump two, we get three. And uh, then we jump the largest possible jump is one, two, three, three. So we jump three and then we jump four. So as you can see, the largest jump is just, uh, um, I think you can understand it in two ways, either the current index i or the preceding uh, or the stone where you jump from plus one. So. Uh, what does that mean? This is stone 0, stone 1, stone 2. Uh, for stone 2, the largest uh, possible jump it uh, get from is uh, its index 2. Or you can understand that it's index 1 plus 1. So in the, when we, uh, before we try to fill the DP array, if we see any stones i minus stones i minus one is greater than i, we just return false. We know it can never reach that stone. Okay, now let's write a code. First, we get these stones length. Uh, well, what, as we only need to know whether it is reachable, so we only need a Boolean array, dp. And the size, the first, of course, is n. The second is also n, why? Because just like this example, uh, for every stone, its largest possible jump is a minus one, actually. So we write n. The initialization dp0, 0 is true. And we do a quick check. i start from 1, i less than n, i plus plus. So if stones i minus stones i minus 1 greater than i, then we just return false, cannot reach. Otherwise, we fail this. So i start from 1, i less than n i plus plus. And uh, the previous jump, uh, sorry, pre previous stone, j, uh, start from i minus 1, j great or equal than 0, j minus minus. So we know the jump k is equal to stops uh, storms i minus storms j. Uh, we do the same check if k is greater than j uh, plus 1, we just break. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can understand it by if the previous jump plus 1 is, uh, oh sorry, the jump, the current jump is greater than previous stone plus 1, then we cannot reach. So this is how you understand it. And then dp, I uh, k equal to dp uh, j uh, right j then k minus 1 and dp j uh, k and uh, dp j k plus 1 mm, okay I think if i equal to n minus 1 if you find it and the dp i j equal to 2 then just to return true uh, return true. In the end, uh, return false. We cannot reach it. Uh, I think this part uh, you should notice. If you, okay, something is wrong. 
Um, oh, sorry, it's not I J, it's I K. Okay. Uh, this part you must write K is greater than J plus one. If you write uh, K greater than I, then you actually um, have a larger scope. But it actually depends on which stone it comes from. So you should uh, uh, write uh, with regarding J. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.